Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will quickly understand what is named entity recognition. We will see the importance of it. I will also give you certain examples. Followed by that, NER can be implemented with couple of libraries. One is SPICY, another one is NLTK. We will see two examples with SPICY and NLTK as well. This is going to be a short and a session. I am sure you will like it. Let's get into the content right away. What is NER? NER is named entity recognition and is one of the most important processes when it comes to natural language processing. NER certainly helps the systems with effective, efficient identification and categorization of important information which are entities commonly. The entities can be people, organization, location, date and many things are there. So you and I can be an entity, the locations like New York, Delhi can be an entity and dates 15th August can be an entity. So all these are simple examples that can fall under the entity criteria. Well, why do we need named entity recognition? Where are the application opportunities with NER? That's going to be discussed right now. The first and foremost is the search engine. The NER improves the search results by a huge volume. It helps the search engines in finding and highlighting crucial information to make the search results more meaningful and very relevant. NER has a very big role to play in organizing information. It helps you in clearly organizing and categorizing the text by identifying the key entities and it will make life easier for us to manage a huge quantity of data. NER is also part of many other NLP tasks which are like the translation, the text summarization, sentiment analysis, all these. NER can be very helpful even in the customer handling, the customer service applications. NER can be used to automatically identify the key information from the customer queries which is the input and after identifying the key information the responses can be really faster and it can be accurate too. So NER can help in enhancing the customer service through proper analysis. Business insights can be certainly extracted with the help of NER. Valuable information from the text can be extracted, which can be from the social media, news articles, publications, which can be extracted and it can directly assist us in taking informed decisions for the business. I'll give a couple of simple examples. We'll take the sentence, Apple is opening a new store in New York. NER will now identify Apple as the organization, New York as the location. That's it. I'll take another example. Elon Musk announced new plans for SpaceX in 2024. Elon Musk will be identified as the person. SpaceX will be identified as an organization. 2024 will be identified as the date. So this way, NER will identify all the entities properly. We are going to use SpaceI library and we will see how NER can be used with SpaceX. You can see that the first step I am importing SpaceI and then followed by that I am using the pre-trained SpaceI model for English. Now I feed in the text input. Barack Obama was born in Hawaii. He was elected president in 2008. Now we will send this as the input and we will process it. After processing it, the NER system has given you output with entities identified clearly. Barack Obama is identified as person. Hawaii is identified as GPE, which is location. 2008 is identified as a date. So it's a very simple way to identify that. And then I use NLTK library for the same purpose. Now we are importing the NLTK library and we are using the word tokenization, POS underscore tag, any underscore chunk for us to complete the implementation here. Now here the input is Apple is planning to open a new office in the New York. Once this is executed, once this part of the code is executed, you can see that we are getting the output and entities are identified. So it's a very simple thing and I'm sure you can try it out on your own and I tried it out in the Google Colab and you can also try it out and if you have any questions, please come back to me. I'll be very glad to assist you.